Hello guys and welcome back to Project Monaco with me, Pug Gaming. I hope you're all doing well. Firstly, apologies, it's been a little while since I've released a video and that's all been down to a number of different reasons. Both a busy personal life and also I've been spending a bit of time watching the World Cup. And as you can tell from my accent, yes, England didn't make it to the finals this year, but nonetheless it's been a very exciting tournament. But with that in mind, it doesn't mean the series has stopped in the meantime. I have been recording, I've got a lot, and I mean a lot of footage, hours and hours that I need to put into videos. And we're going to start with this section of Monaco. We're going to start on these beautiful, beautiful apartments. And boy, this took absolutely hours to complete. And if you're a Formula 1 fan, you'll recognise this little area. This is where the famous tunnel goes beneath and the famous Sun Casino Hotel. So it's a very iconic view when you're looking at Monaco, certainly from the coast. And it's one that's going to be very difficult to build, but with the help of some asset creators, we have got the perfect models to do so. And as I said, this video in particular has been cut down a lot because it did take a lot of time to get this all sorted. And you'll see as the video progresses, but this is a very exciting area. This is an area that's really going to transform the skyline itself. And it's really going to lead up to the next exciting challenge, which will come in a couple of episodes time. But anyway, let's get into this. Let's start building this beautiful apartment area. Now, you probably noticed a lot in this series that terraforming has become a big feature of Project Monaco. And it's a feature that I had never really got to grips with until taking on this challenge mainly because I was lazy and I took the easy way around some places and often other times the terrain actually forms itself and you end up keeping it but when you're trying to replicate something such as Monaco you need to be a bit more precise and certainly I've learned a hell of a lot in terms of terraforming and I've certainly learned a very interesting couple of tricks and well little cheat ways to get around some of these issues we found which we've already covered in a few of the videos prior to this but anyway, first up, what I wanted to do, because this area is so difficult to build on, we need to hide the shoreline, but we also want to have some sort of a wall around this. And I still want people to be able to walk along the sort of ends of this area to look out to the sea, because that's what it shows in real life. There's actually sort of a, a walkway all the way around this, um, this perimeter edge. And you'll see here we are plopping down one of the first new assets. And we got some more here. They've all been done by Crazy Gluit, and he has done a fantastic job. He's created a number of different apartments in different styles which you can piece and jigsaw together, which will be on the workshop very shortly. And boy, do they work well for me. They have been designed perfectly to suit my needs, but they're quite a generic uh, sort of dimension and angled versions of these buildings, so you can get a way of using them yourself as well. Whether you're going to complete and create something similar to these apartments or if you're just going to create a tower you can do so as well with the uh, procedural object mod or even move it. And talking of procedural object this is another game changing mod for this series. I use this so much especially when plopping down these apartment buildings because there were times where you needed to use that and unfortunately move it didn't allow certain features. And one of them being the effects that you can actually change the, um, the buildings themselves and move the nodes off the actual um, already designed builds, which does make life a lot easier when you're trying to hide sort of areas or place them in areas that don't normally work and look too attractive. Now, I must admit, this situation here did take a lot of time. It did take me many hours to get this all down. Not just a case of the right directions, but sorry the right placements but also the hardest part of this was to keep the height the same as well I was using the um, the new options within uh, move it and procedure objects to allow you to do so but sometimes it didn't quite work for me I'm not sure why whether I was messing up or not but uh, there was a few times where I had to go back and realign the height it didn't matter too much later on but the start it did cause me a few issues but I think that's probably more down to me than the actual uh, features within the mods themselves and as you can see here we are now trying to get the tunnel to line up correctly underneath these apartments and this is the famous view you get when the Formula One is on with the Formula One cars racing through the tunnel 
and you can see the apartments in the distance and above the actual race course, the race uh, track itself. And you can see there, going back to the features of procedural object, we're able to adjust some of the um, buildings themselves to let the uh, tunnel actually have an entrance and exit as well. So what we've done here is we just basically moved up the um, the bottom nodes. I, I could have um, asked um, Crazy Glue it to change that for me, but why? There's no need when you can do it yourself and uh, create something magical. Now moving off topic slightly, I have had a lot of questions asked about what we're going to do are we going to add a formula one cars around this etc etc and yes the plan is to eventually have um, the formula one track going around this and functioning as best we can i'm not sure exactly how we've got a lot of ideas flowing within the uh, the community at the moment so it's just a case of picking the best one um, but it won't happen yet Despite the fact that we have nearly completed the course itself, um, I want to create the rest of Monaco before we do that. That's almost gonna be like the final finishing touch to the series, if we can still do so. I'm not sure um, what the problem it's gonna be like at that point, or even the actual playability of the game and the lag. I'm sure we'll be able to do something with it. Um, even if it's just still video footage as opposed to um, watching the cars race around from, from high view. But it's certainly something I want to do and it's uh, something that I'm keeping in mind as I build. So don't worry about that guys, that is going to happen. It's just a case of um, once we've got to that point in the series, which is going to be nearer the end. And of course, if there's anyone out there who wants to start working on the Formula One cars for this season or whichever season really, I'm thinking if we create those possibly as buses that could work out the best way around this. And as you can see we are getting near the end now of the um, very unusual shape of these apartments and believe me it's not finished yet. You may wonder why there are some strange balconies on the side but this is purely to allow me to line up the um, other sections of this apartment square or octagonal or whatever you want to class it as. Basically there are a number of tiers involved in this, again due to the, uh, the land, um, height and terrain and the sea level etc. There's almost like three tiers, you've got the sea itself, you've got the first tier, you've got the building tier, the top of the apartment and also when you go inside the apartment area, um, the ground level is actually higher up as well. So the ground level inside this little oct octagon area is actually higher up than the uh, sea and land level. So that's a, an interesting little and perspective we can get into this as well and it does look very very unusual but very very nice so we'll definitely be getting that in and that's where the um, lines and angles really come into play and you'll see here as well um, I'm having to overlap some of these um, buildings here to create this angle here this angle is a little bit difficult to create and it's quite hard to judge when you're building models because it all depends on my map and my um, sort of the way I built this section so it might not be 100% perfect, but um, it certainly looks very, very close to, to what it should be. And I really do love those pillars as well, going into the sea. That really is a very special touch and very, very well done these uh, models are by Crazy Glue. He really did excel himself here and he did turn these around in extremely fast fashion to allow me to carry on my series. And here we go, look at that. I am really impressed with how that looks. It certainly will change as time progresses because we are going to change and move the, um, the land on top of it into it a bit more. Um, but there, I'm really happy with how that's come about there. And you'll see here, we are trying to now work on the tunnel entrance or exit, whatever you want to class it as. Um, now this, again, caused some problems and it wasn't something I was able to completely resolve. But you'll see here, we are going back to the procedural object tool very shortly and we're going to cut down some of these building areas but first we're going to go over and change the height of the terrain um, in this section here so now you can probably understand why I left those um, balconies over there because it's just a good eye line for me to work out how high to bring this level up and because the models have been so nicely designed for me it was easier to do but yes let's go back to the tunnel section so we're using the procedural object here to change the height well, to basically remove the bottom section um, of these buildings here. So now you'll see when I place this down, we don't have the continued um, 
part of the model going through the tunnel so we can make this look more realistic now and you can actually look down the tunnel and you can see the tunnel actual is still there and open i haven't been able to achieve that everywhere but it works and it needs to work in this section ideally because this is the main section itself for the formula one cars Now this section is an interesting one. My plan here, because all these roofs have some sort of um, garden area upon it, I wanted to still create this as a working area and I'm still thinking of the best way to do so even now. But what I wanted to do first of all is actually place down some um, pathways. These will eventually become invisible um, so it's purely just to allow me to see where I can get people to walk around and the plan is to get some sort of events generator um, in this section so eventually people will use these pathways um, and actually walk across the building wall tops which will look really really nice in cinematics and just add to the realism not sure how easy that's going to be to do just yet um, I've got a few ideas and a lot of people are also helped me out especially um, the Sheik he's got a, a lot of ideas to hopefully get this to work um, so we'll see how this progresses. Um, even now, I'm about three episodes ahead at the moment. I haven't quite worked out the best way to do it. I've kind of left it as it is, but that's purely because I've not got the, um, the traffic in this area yet, which you'll, um, you'll see why a bit later on as well as the episodes progress. But this is the plan for now. Um, don't worry, they do look ugly at the moment, but they will be disappearing because um, they will be going to invisible paths. So it's just, I'm just gonna keep them there for now because I obviously need to know whereabouts they are. So when I'm building on these roofs, which you'll see very shortly, I know um, whereabouts I need to build from and to. So that's why they are there. Um, yes, they look strange, but it's the plan to make this look a little bit more realistic. And again, it's what I wanna do with this build. I don't wanna make it look realistic in terms of what is actually there is there, but also, I want to create traffic, I want to create people walking around. Monaco isn't a quiet area. There's a lot of people, a lot of 
people walking around and doing stuff so that's what I want to achieve with that and this is how I'm going to plan to do so. So now we're just going to start on some of the garden areas of the roof um, just using the planters here uh, it's a lot easier to do um, it's probably the quickest way of doing so as well. I could have used some of the bigger planters um, but I did like the colour texture of these ones in particular so this is just really just to create this area as quickly as possible really. So there we have it, 
we have added all of the planted grass area. We've got the paths, we've got some of the pavement down. That's the um, new pavement from King Leno. And we've also tiled over the top of these roofs because I didn't really like the whiteness of it. It looks a little bit too bright and sharp for the um, LUTs that I'm using. But as you can see, things are really taking shape now. I really do like the look of that. You can really see that this is what it's meant to be now, which is really, really exciting. And this is really the part of the series that I was really looking forward to doing. Getting these sections down, the harbour itself, I think I'm very pleased with that now. Um, the realism of it, it looks very, very like, li lifelike, sorry, um, compared to real life. Obviously, nothing's gonna be perfect. Um, we're playing a game versus real life. It's always gonna be difficult. Um, but in terms of how things are progressing, I'm very happy with this. Um, I thought perhaps it could have been a bit quicker. Um, well, I, I didn't think this could have been quicker based on what I've done, but in terms of um, when I first started, I thought we could have um, been a bit further by um, episode 12, but it's worth the wait in my opinion. Things are progressing. Like I say, I've got three lots of videos already recorded, it's just a case of editing now. Um, and I'll be getting back onto track now as things progress, especially now the World Cup is pretty much over. Um, personal life is settling down a little bit more now as well, which makes life a lot easier. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'll probably be looking to do a few live streams as well. So hit me up in the comments below if that would be of interest to you guys. Do you want to see a bit more of me doing live streams? I obviously did one about three, four weeks back. Um, doing this area in fact I believe so that was uh, interesting I do like doing live streams it's uh, a nice way to um, engage with you guys hear your ideas and you know there's things on here that perhaps I have done which could be done better um, different use of different assets or um, different techniques that people have picked up that would help me especially with the um, very unique style of terrain that we're working with in Monaco. Um, I'm hope, but then again, I'm also hoping that some of my tricks and tips have also <laughs> helped you guys out as well. Um, so yeah, I'll be very interested to hear whether you want to see a few more live streams as well. More than happy to commit to some time of doing that. Um, probably on, I do it on YouTube and Twitch probably, so no preference really. You'll both get to see it whether you use one platform or the other. So the difficult thing about this section here, as you probably saw as I was battling along, but the trees and um, flowers had to be props because there's no actual um, official ground here to plant trees on. So the only way I could actually have a tree in this area is having a really, really long one that actually planted on the official ground below the apartment floors and pop through the apartments to the roof. Um, so that's obviously a difficult part when you're building in, um, well, when you're designing when there's actually no ground floor in the air, you're basically designing the air to be fair. If we took away the whole bottom of the area, you'd just see these floating sections. So that's something that you have to overcome. And fortunately, there are quite a few um, propable or probable prop build, prop um, flowers and trees that do work well in this area. So it's not too much of a concern for now. And again, Working with terrain heights, we are really battling with it at times. When we put in these um, bench, uh, beach chairs down, it takes a little bit more time than normal. Um, we could use the new Propit tool um, to find the height of the building, but unfortunately with these buildings, it didn't quite work. It's still a little bit out. So we, could, we did use it to a certain point, but then we had to do it manually after. So um, it does mean that dropping these sort of areas does take a little bit more time um, which is why you'll see the um, props I'm using are quite generic and quite often the same um, I didn't want to use too much of two different items to prop down because it would have taken much much longer but this little area here is actually the swimming pool for the Sun Casino Hotel so we're trying to imitate this as best we can it's a, a rooftop swim pool area with a little bar very very fancy um, if you were lucky enough to stay here, you've done well for yourself. Um, so that's the sort of feeling I'm trying to give off here. Uh, we're going to have some dinner tables as well in the corner, um, along with these, these deck chairs and a few little areas where the bar could potentially be as well. So just bring it again, bring up the realism of this a bit more. 
And going off topic slightly, a lot of you guys have been asking whether the weekly asset roundup is going to be returning. And as of right now, the answer unfortunately is going to be no. Um, the main reason being because of time. Um, this series itself takes up a lot of my um, spare time that I do have available now. Um, it's something I'd like to bring back because I know a lot of you guys are really keen to, to have that um, as a part of my YouTube channel series and I know a lot of you like watching it because of the views and angles I give off and show off what these beautiful assets look like. But at the moment the videos themselves take a good couple of hours to do both editing and recording so at the moment those hours are going into Project Monaco because we are in my opinion a little bit behind schedule. Um, there are some amazing assets that I still have not been able to use yet and they are waiting in the mix to be um, propped down <laughs> and shown off basically so there is a lot of work still left to do and I want to concentrate on Monaco at the time being because it's the, um, the part of the channel that's really taken off well and I, I want to show you guys the end of Monaco I don't want it to be a half house episode and series I want to go all the way. I want to show you that it is possible to create a real, real life, realistic imitation of a country in this fact, but it is, you know, very similar size to a city. So that's the plan moving forward. And you'll also notice as well that the detail levels have dropped a little bit in terms of what I'm normal normally doing for my episodes. That's not due to laziness that's not due to anything other than being cautious of the prop level and obviously the frames per second there are some areas of the map that shoot down but there are ways around this certainly when you're recording videos I have done a tutorial on how to do so and um, which you'll see popping up in the top corner of your screen now if you want to click that and have a look through it gives you a few little tips on how to imitate a very nice frame rate video footage cinematic wise when you've only got maybe five frames per second so check that out but the something that I've really used a lot to create my cinematics and make them look very nice but talking of cinematics that is bringing us very close to the end of this episode I know I don't normally do this but I'm going to fill you in on the up-and-coming episodes because I actually know what they're going to be at the moment and I know you guys are very keen to understand what's coming up soon and what to look forward to. So, this episode is obviously the apartments, episode 12. Episode 13, we're going to move across the land, as you can see here to the right. And we're going to start working on another famous part of the Formula 1 track. We're going to work on the famous hairpin. So that is the combination of the completion of the Sun Hotel, Sun Casino Hotel. Um, the hairpin and building up some of the layers of this road, road itself and episode 14 is going to be one of my excited and most waited for episodes it's going to be the start of the, the casino area and we have been blessed with three absolutely fantastic models which I know a lot of you will be placing down in your cities as soon as you can we're going to be working on some buildings by Mac Welshman and it's going to be the Casino Square, the Casino Hotel, and the Little Cafe. So keep an eye out for those. Episode 15, we'll be moving on to a beautiful Japanese garden area. So that's the plan up and coming. You'll get to see the next episode quicker than you expect than normal. But anyway, I'm going to leave you with the cinematics of the beautiful apartments. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't already and you're enjoying the video, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, all the best.